programmi uħor ta' ħabbejtek, għazis telespettaturi ta' ħabbejtek, l-lu manna program interessant ta' ħafna għalikom, u għalek nisiddukom biex jintkom kunu manna din il-sija, tipoġib l-qeda, kunu kumdi, u jissimu kemu għbir il-mulejn. Mal-lewel nisiq li ninkora ġikom biex mal-lewel, ġibu l-bibja ħdejkom, u forsi t-nizlu ġinoti, u iftħu par widnej, għan laqakom mal-mistiden speċjalita għana tallu, Basim Ziyara. Basim Ziyara, welcome to Habaytek, the program here, the Christian program in Malta. Been going for about six years now, thank God. Hallelujah. And it's viewed by thousands of Maltese and Gossetans from, from all over, all the time. Welcome to Malta and welcome to Habaytek. How are you doing? Thank you very much. It's a beautiful place. Thank you, Pastor Gordon, for inviting me. It's an honor to be with you. Amen. Amen. Thank the people from Malta, and I just believe God is doing great and mighty thing in this city and in the Amen. region. Amen. Thank God for your ministry. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for developing Amen. and building up disciples in this nation Amen. and many spiritual sons Amen. because I see them. So it's very good work. Thank you, Jesus. It's an honor to be with you. Amen. Basim, um, we know each other for about what? Since back what? 10 years, 11 no, yeah. years, 11, something, 12 years, I think? Something like that, yeah. Because it's yeah, about. Since 1995 or something, 96. Oh, wow. Yeah. Time goes fast, huh? <laughs> That's a long time. So, Basim, you, you, your name is strange. It's not a, a common name, Basim, because yeah. obviously you are from where are you from originally? Amaroji was born in Iraq in the city of Baghdad. Okay, Basim was born in Iraq, in the city of Baghdad. And you were born here, you were brought up there, you, were, you lived there, Ashtrafnale? I lived for approximately 17 years wow. as, um, as a student, a student, yeah, attending a Catholic high school in okay. Baghdad. Grew up as a Muslim, Shiite Muslim, my family um, Muslims. I was in Mecca, I was in a Catholic Christian school, and I was in Muslim Shiita, Shiita. So you were you were brought up in a Shiite Muslim family. Exactly. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, and um, you were there in Baghdad for seventeen years. For seventeen years. And yes. then you left from Baghdad. Clapped. I left from there because I was studying, uh, study to be a petroleum engineer. As you well know, Iraq is an oil producing oh, country, okay. so everybody inspired. Mm -hmm. to get these kind of degrees because of the oil reserves amen, in Iraq. Amen. Basim, can you study in the engineering of the oil? And for example, we have a lot of oil that we have to do in the oil. We have to do it in the country. We have to study in the oil of the engineering of the oil. And Basim, we have to study in the university of the oil. And we have to study in the oil of the oil. We have to study in the oil of the petroleum of the oil of the oil of the oil of the oil. And then where did you go after that? After graduation, uh, I thought, since it's an American high school learning English, I thought that after graduation I'll be coming. I'll be going to the U.S. or, or some Britain because I, I learned English language. You learned but English language in Baghdad? In Baghdad, I in see. American high school. But uh, unfortunately, they overthrew the government, and the government was more pro-East. It's more not exactly communist, but socialist. Plus, for every student they sent to Russia, uh, for every one student they sent to the United States, it was like a cost more than 10 times wow. somebody going to Russia. Plus, we have United Nations help also. So I ended up going to Russia. I see. So from Baghdad <coughs> to Russia yes. to study as well? Exactly. Mario studio in Baghdad, Mario Baghdad, Mario studio in Russia. And uh, how long were you in Russia for? Three years. Three years in Russia? Yes. And you learned Russian too? I had to. You don't have any choice because <laughs> I have to study there. Wow. Because all of my uh, lessons, all of my courses, university are Russian. In Russian? Yeah. Wow. So there is no English. That's so when it. you walked into the class, did you understand anything? Well, I had to study for one year only Russian language. And then the last two years took a lot of petroleum engineering. Mamma yes. mia. Wow. I know. It's very difficult. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Where in Russia were you? I was in Moscow the first year, you know, Moscow University. And the last two years I spent it in Ukraine. I Ukraine, see. which is very close to Poland in that area. 
and also we had a training in the in Azerbaijan in Baku. Wow, that's geological because wow. I have a lot of oil wells. As you all know, the oil wells are the ones that supported Hitler wow. in World War II in wow. Baku. Wow, interesting. interesting. Yeah. No, I didn't know that, but that's very interesting information. Yeah. So, what are you mean Baghdad, what are Russia, America, in Russia? But Hadem, Joe Ukraine, Joe Postito Hramad, what are Russia? For the initial tal engineering, the Zayt, me feji bu Zayt. Um, fans pichanka Baku, Azerbaijan. Recently, there was the Eurovision Eurovision contest from Azerbaijan. I don't know if you know that, but no, that's how Malta most probably most Maltese will know about Azerbaijan about the European contest because that's where it was held recently. Yeah, it's interesting because the culture there is very close to the culture of the Middle East. Ah, oh, interesting. The same. They have a lot of Muslims, Shiite Muslims in Baku, in ah, Azerbaijan, in Azerbaijan. Yeah. Wow. I will go to Azerbaijan and have a Muslim Shiite. Interesting. And then what, from there, what happened? Well, after, mm -hmm. again, one thing in the Middle East, the politics doesn't stay the same. It's always changing. You know, so mm -hmm. they overthrew the government again. Where? In Iraq. I see. So, I see. In Baghdad, 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 in Yadmin Hafna, situation in Palma, at his MU of Yaman, Palma, and Ramadwan, a continuament, for tournament, for the news. Okay? And then I saw, I, they gave me a choice to go anywhere I want to go, so I ended up going into the United States to finish my education. I see. Went to the University of Tulsa, and they applied all the credit hours in Russia to my education. I see. And took, got my petroleum engineering degree and also master's in economics. Petroleum economics. I see. Do you remember when I met Kumar? The complete education to you. The American basically complete the economics for the petroleum engineering. So in Tulsa, Oklahoma. In Tulsa, Oklahoma, where you were. In the Bible Belt. The Bible Belt. All wow. Roberts University, Kenneth Hagin, and uh, T. L. Osborne. Victory. Victory and Willie George. Wow. Church on the Moon. Some of the major mega churches and ministries exactly. that have touched the world. Exactly. Half from the ministry, the Nara Awu, and some of them, and half from them, the Nanka Nara Awu, stationed at Palgot TV, they start. Propriamente, the base of the hard job in the Nil Belt, Tatalsa, Fein Spitcha, Yijeman Baut, Basim. And that's where I met you. And that's where we met. That's right. I met it. I know that. I know what else. Oklahoma. Yes. When the water bed. So what happened, brother, to you? I mean. Uh, well, uh, while I was in college, uh, I got married to an American girl, of course, and then that meta was. Cont, meta cont. Meta kin jo al college kon zewach tfail americana. And then my family found out about it. Of course, you know I'm the oldest son in the family. The family tio ki mas ko pro ashuang ligbar tfail fil family ligbar we had. <coughs> so they have uh, pre-arranged marriages. They already um, have somebody from... Well, it's not a big deal, obviously, when they have all the arrangements in a special way, 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 in a and as the customs in the Middle East, you need to have children as soon as possible. So I have How my so? first, after you get Belakdan, once in a year. Because <laughs> it's very common in the Middle East. It's a gift that you owe to your children, to your parents, to ah, present the child. So we had a child when I was still in college. Wow. That's why I look so young. But <laughs> 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 Min yezawech ykolom et fal malair ash fil kultura da chamuwa li matay kolog et daukli yezawju ya kolom et fal malair u yepresenta wam pchala don u gift lil lil genetu re da chum. And I was still a Muslim, of course. Then after graduation, I was still a Muslim, and I asked the Lord to give me a job. Stanafi, what do you mean you asked the Lord? You are a Muslim. What do you yeah, mean? Yeah, because after graduation, okay, what are you graduate? Uh -huh. Because I was, I had an encounter. Remember what I said, it's like in high school. Ah. I, I was so fascinated with Jesus Christ. Ah. And the reason for that, the Islamic uh, religion conquered 
every, everybody in the Middle East by force. I see. Well, Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace, I learned about him that he gave everybody a choice. Amen. Now, you know, I, like I said, conquer. you can change your mind, but I cannot change your heart Amen. and what you believe. So what he's saying, like let's say, we are basing in the middle of the school of secondary, that he is in contra with Christ. But I see that Jesus Christ, who is the son of the character and the person of Jesus, I see that Jesus, who is in religion, who is in the world, who is in the world, is not a son of the son of the son of li fil-Islam kien infirex billi kienu jaħkmu u jiddominaw u u raġa ħaġa fġessu li ġessu kien etik il-liberta tal-Azla ma kienx ma jisfurzax li l-unnifsu fuqek so what you're saying is that because Jesus gives you freedom freedom and 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 that attracted you that attracted me because it's a choice you make I'm not forcing you to become Anything. And that's the beauty of Jesus Christ. Even remember in the word of God, he says, so he said, nobody come to me except the Holy Spirit. So as a young man in Baghdad, that impression stayed with me. So after, so after graduating, I asked Jesus for a job. And I got a job. While a Muslim, you pray to Jesus. Absolutely. Interesting. Yeah. Because, <laughs> again, we're not here to put down Islam, but I knew in my spirit. Because like I said, you know, God knows the end before the beginning. Amen. Once you know the truth, you know that he's going to answer because it's a love relationship. Amen, amen. So, that was the first time that we were Muslim, and we were in the name of Jesus, we were in the name of Jesus, in the spirit of Jesus, li jem xie ħaġa speċjali fuq ġesu u li ġesu seta jienu u għalek għavolja ma kien xaħadu neċessarament sar kristjani u taħajtu li kristu pero bħala musulman sema fuq ġesu talab li ġesu u talbu biċi tieħ ġobb and when you prayed what happened? I had a job the next week sab ġobb ix il-ġima ta' wara then I went to the job was in Norway So here I'm used to warm weather, and I end up three years in Russia, <laughs> another seven years in Norway. Then I went to Norway, I spent seven years. And, uh, and we had an opportunity there uh, to minister to young people there. Because, what do you mean you minister? You are because I wasn't a minister. We, had, um, we were developing a huge field in the North Sea, and then um, they brought many big staff. United States you know, sent see. many people, and they built up a lot of families. So when children. you were up there in Norway, mm -hmm. you were working with the Americans? I was working, oh yeah, I was working for an American oil company, Phillips Petroleum Company. I see, oh, Phillips. Uh, Phillips, which is, as you will know, you being from Tulsa, north of Tulsa is Barsville, and that's the headquarters of Phillips Petroleum Company. I see, okay. And Mac Bartersville, you know, north of Tulsa, and the company oil based in the company of Tulsa, they use Phillips. And there was Gerald, where I was saying, we can buy the company, American, and we can have an American, and we can have an American, for the environment, the show, the kinetisir, then the khidma for the zayt, the viri. Yeah, and they brought many children. Of course, all the families moved over there. And the president decided to start an interdenominational church. And the president decided to start a community or a community that is Christian, that is interdenominational. The viri denomination is all one and one and one and one. Fil-istess post, inter-denomination il-fisser li battisti, episkopiljani, luterani, metodisti, kattol, ċipinti, kostali, karizmatiki, kolla fil-istess komuta, kolla jinaħdu. And then he said, I will give you Sunday off because as you will, you know, working on the plasma 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Wow. Because it's non-stop because every day millions of dollars you pay for the platform. 
Mamma mia. So uh, he said, I'm going to give you Sunday off if you teach in Sunday school wow. to my children. And I wow. said, I'm a Muslim. What do you mean teach your children Christianity? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. And if you want to get the show, you can get the show in the school. You can get the food in the platform. باش تجي مكريا دين بلاتفورما كانت مليون كبار تاكل قبول في تفلوس كل يوم والبوست يو قالوا يا كنت تعلم لي الاطفال اللي عندي اللي تيجي اوفيومنت من برا مالطا من برا سكوزي من برا البايس من حبه اللي مخفنا فاميليا تيجي واشول قالوا يا كنت تعلم لي الاطفال تي عارفوا الكريستيان يسمو فوق البيبيا ين انت كل حطوف ودان قالوا قالوا انت كيف تسا تاتيني لي لي دان الشول ريسبونسابل باش نعلم اطفال فوق الكريستيان يسمو Interesting. So, Interesting. But of course, you can't teach anything without studying. So I was, I had to learn so you, the Bible. You, you forced yourself. Absolutely. To get the Sunday off. <laughs> get Sunday off, and I have to go read the Bible so, so I can teach the kids. So you can, that's <laughs> interesting. Wow. But you see how God is working. You Interesting. Know, so. Yes, yes. Allora, Mulain, Adam, in the situation, if I was in Hassoli, I read. ما يساش يعلم شي حاجه اللي ما يشوفو قالو راس بيتش يقول له يقرا البيب يم بيش يتعلمو خلي يكون يسلم لو اطفال that's lasted for a short time and then after seven years i went back to the states you know but what uh what after tells me in this pitch chat oh speech i jay more l'america of course my relationship with my parents was very tense because i married an american not an iraqi ma l genitori ti hai kinet tense khafna jina konta li hom amil cha haja da barra minaw ash zawisht American. So I went back to the States, and of course we had a lot of tension at that time between my wife and I, because I was very aggressive, because I worked very hard in the North Sea, so I expected a bigger job when I got back to the States. And the relationship between us and Mara was that we had a very difficult situation, and we had a very difficult argument, 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 and we had a very difficult argument. And again, I was still a Muslim, and my wife was a nominal Christian. And so we end up uh, a lot of tension in the marriage as a result. Uh, then she, she filed for divorce. I didn't, she did. Amen. For Christians, this is a no-no because the God cannot bless any divorce. Amen. But bear in mind, I was a Muslim and yes. she was a nominal Christian. Yeah, if you are Christian, you divorce you, you are not a Christian, you divorce you, you are not a Christian. But if you are a Christian, you are not 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 a Christian. Alcuno bes nisara ash twil do l-pajis partikolari ash parti mil-kultura. Mux ash necessariament għandum relazzjoni għajja jow jishti u bxi mot jwaġbu u jiex għalall. Then I resigned my job and went to city of Tulsa. U bat neħa irrezenja mi xolt jow u bar jahdem jow għal. I started working for a bank. Post jow għal bank bad jahdem għal bank jow għal sestes. But I was depressed. Because I was away from my children. In a new city. And a new job. So I cried out to Jesus. And he came into my heart. How did that happen? Sorry, how Just I was in, in, in that place of depression and sadness. I just cried out to the Lord. What were, what were you doing in that moment when you asked the Lord to come? I was just tears. Crying and uh, were you in your room or were you? I was in my room crying. You walk in feel. From a day, from moment of depression, you manda kolu lekin hada. Kin depressive hafna. O ftakar shahaja fo Jesu. O beda itla pil Jesu. Bishiju fhaitu. Bishahilso. So you ask the Lord to do what exactly? I ask Him to come into my heart and take this pain away from me. O yena atlap til mulay dakil hin el Jesu. Avolya konda de Musulman. Because I have a good experience with him when I ask him for a job, he gave me a job.
I didn't ask him to save me, but I asked him to come into my heart. And the, word, and the word that came out of me that be my Lord. I did not know anything about how to be led in some, Be my Lord. I didn't use the word Savior. Come take this vein, be my Lord. Wow. And we have very experience, you do do, those people just use the name Jesus without saying anything and he came into their heart. That's how close we are to the Lord. Amen. So I talk to my brothers, the Muslim, if I are listening to this program, Jesus is that close to you. And the Bible says those who call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's how close Jesus is to us. And so I call on the name of the Lord and peace came into my heart. He filled me with joy. It just, it just felt so good. Let me say, hold on. When you say peace, what do you mean peace? Because it's, many people talk about peace. In the right. The peace of your heart. You know, like if you are depressed, if you are sad, if you're disturbed, you know. In fact, Jesus says in John 14, yeah. it says, I'm going and I leave you my peace. Right. Not, and, and not the peace like the world gives Absolutely you. Absolutely not. Jesus says, Jesus says, Jesus بحاله مسلمان كنا دو مسلمان ده كزمين خاص شهاجة اللي في الخيات يو أتما كن خاص عبل Did you feel this type of peace ever in your life before? Never, never It's just like all the sadness was gone Joy came into my heart جسو جيف خايتي It's just like I truly believe that I was I knew I was like a new person فيرا منت خاصي داك الهين ومنت لينا just like it says in Corinthians, we're new creatures. It's like I felt new, completely new. And later on, I, my love for Jesus was so strong, so I went to start reading the Bible again. Remember, I read the Bible when I was in Norway, so I can teach children. Interesting. Abel, Bhala Musulman, write the Bible. Call short, one day, because now we're in the Was it the same? It's different now. What can you say? Because now I have relationship. I know in my heart I have a special relationship with Jesus. I just like when I'm feeling under relation, especially with Jesus Christ. You know, I tell you something, my brother. When I was still in the world. As a religious person, but I know that if the world calls, we can't reach you. So when we are ready to admit it, we are religious. But I'm not going to be like Jesus. Jesus is not going to be like that. I'm 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 not going to be like that. On the first June of 1995, when I actually consciously, similar to you, gave my life to Jesus, and I asked Him to be my Lord and my Savior, when I read the Bible after that, um, that experience, I was wondering, I, was, I wasn't sure if I was reading the same book. Amen. It was so amazing. Amen, amen, amen. It was so amazing. I wasn't sure if I was reading the same book because I was not reading the same book. I was not reading the Bible once in a 
Kelly de Clasperienza Majesu, once I had that experience with Jesus, this book became a life. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's what happened to you. Well, that's what happened to me because when I read it, when I was teaching the young people in Norway, I was reading it more theologically like another book. Because like for now, for history's sake. after that relation, that's why I believe only the people that receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and the Spirit of God comes in them, they're beginning to read the Bible. and comp- It's almost <coughs> like it becomes... A love letter between God and yourself. Amen. It's ولك, a love relationship. ولك بسمة يدنا ليو يمن لي قال من من ينقول لي قبل البيبيا رخا رخا برا رخا بشيء يلا من خطي هور بخلا تست استوريكو يو بخلا كتبي هور قالين كوا برا بات ما تكلو دك لينكونتر ما جسوا لسبيرتو دار لجيا مارفيخ تولت من جديد وبدأ أرى البيبيا خاصة إيس البيبيا إيس سارت بخلك ال ال الليترة تام خبا بينا للمسير وو. In fact, there is a powerful scripture I would like us to read it. Go ahead, please. It is in First Corinthians, chapter two, verse fourteen. First Corinthians, chapter two, verse fourteen. Lewel Corinthians, chapter nine, verse arbatash. This is to substantiate of what Basim is saying. Dam bish is sustaining. Dak le Basim atiyat. البنيدم ناتورالي ما يلقاش الخويج تاع السبيرتو تاعنا علي خو ما كل بلوا ما يستاش يفهمهم سمعت هذيك مش ما يريد يفهمهم ما يستاش يفهمهم علي خط ما يستا يربلهم يك مش بالسبيرتو تاعنا ابسولوتلي ابسولوتلي يو سي يا ذس ذس از ريلي برينغ اس تو ذا نيو بيرث وامنا كان كان فوت ولد مجدي Because just like when Jesus talked Nicodemus, you must be born again. Even, even though Nicodemus was a rabbi, he should know the word of God and the law. He said, you must be born from above. And I really believe after that experience, it's like the Spirit of God becomes so real Jesus became so real, so I believe I was born again at that time. And I was so much in love with Jesus. So coming back from the bank. Did you have that experience? What happened that time? Because you told me that something supernatural happened to you. Something supernatural. What happened is I was so hungry to read the word of God and was so much in love with Jesus. One night, I was in my bedroom, and um, I was trying to express to Jesus how much I loved him. Of the awahda, kinem kinem moment, the tan baday chop el mulei, tan baday in yin chap ma Christo, u Jesus sar isu kollo shaliyak kefandu ikun lemfati. Li la el minnom kin wahdu fil kamera u baday esprimi lemchabat yo le el mulei. Okay, uh, you know, when you're in love with someone, you just thank, I want to thank him so much. I want to express my love to him so much that I couldn't express it in any language that I already knew, whether it's Arabic, Russian, or English. So I was laying in bed, telling him how much I love him, and supernaturally, light came in the whole room. And the light was so strong, I would say even stronger than looking into the sun. Wow. Filled that whole room, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, tears coming into my eyes with this light, shining light, and I was praying and glorifying Jesus in other tongue. Wow. It's just like I can't express it. You know, when you're love, you can't express it in the language you know, and then all of a sudden, I have a heavenly language with my hands like in the air with the glow, with the... Light filled that whole room. Wow. I was glorifying and speaking words in other tongues without knowing anything wow. about the Holy Spirit. I didn't know nothing about the Nobody baptism. had taught you yet. Nobody taught me anything. Not until later on. Yes. The next day, um, a friend of mine, he said, oh, I heard you had, the, my secretary heard that I had this experience in the bank. So she told another Christian, he called me. He invited me to church the following Hold Sunday. On. So, uh, so what, what, what he's saying is here, Li Basim, Kalu de l'esperienza, Malmulay, Li Flail, Minnum, 
kien mal mulej u beda jiprova jesprimi li mħabbat jow jirring grazzjah u ma sabx klim kif jista jesprimi li jħobbu la bil-russu, la bil-lingwati jow originali, la bil-inglis u fda għa wahda il-kamra fejkien wahdu int li t-bdaw l-qawwi tant kien qawwi li għet jajdin nabasim li kien għat 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 għawija min xemx, min dawl ta xemx u biki u dmuħ nizlin ma wiċu u fda għa wahda s-sab li lun nifsu jitkellem lingwa uħra li għat ma kien t-kellem għabel lingwa sopra naturali u bada jitkellem din l-lingwa jifakħar il-mule jifakħar l-alla b-din l-lingwa li jija l-bibjet s-sejjaħ il-lingwa dal Spiritu Santo tiftakar fda fratta tal-apost li kapitlu t-nej naraw fejn l-ewwel darba mux l-unika darba l-ewwel darba nizal l-Spiritu Santo u l-apost li kolla b-daw jitkellemu bil-lingwi u mbata għandek xafna okkazzjoni toħra fil-skittura u għandek kukwale t-semma fl-ewwel korrendin kapitlu 14 fejn il-poplu talla jista jintella bil-Spiritu talla u jitkellem bil-lingwi uħrajn li jifaħru l-alla dawk si koltant jinista unif muħam u għam dawk li ma nif muħamx imma kunu l-lingwi li jikun ta' għam lok l-Spiritu Santo And then the following Sunday, I was invited to church because he, my secretary told this Christian guy, he said, well, this is a Muslim guy, just became a Christian. And so the first Sunday after that, he invited me to his church. And then the pastor, it's a Pentecostal church. Evangelistic temple in Tulsa. And the pastor asked anybody who received Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior just to come to the front. Wow. So I just run to the front. Amen, amen. And the pastor said, 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 So I publicly in front of the Horcha gave my life to Jesus Christ. And then after that I had a meeting with the pastor and I told him about my experience with, with the light that came and the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Well, I want to read this in John chapter 1. And then he said to the pastor and he said to me that he was a person who was a person. I want to read John chapter 1, okay. where Jesus says, um, where the Bible says here about Jesus. Verse 2. Kol masar Alleluja. Alleluja. Gjwanni ma kienx iddawl, vers minja, imma ġibi xixet għaddawl. Dak iddawl, veru, li iddawwa l-kull bniedem, uwa u ġej fil-dinja. Wow, wow. Wow. So after that, I shared with the pastor about... So that light that you saw was Jesus. Absolutely. Obviously. It's, it's Because the one that baptizes you is Jesus. The one who baptizes you is Jesus. But also that light gave me such a, an excitement wow. and uh, such joy. Alleluia. It's also like another dimension of the new birth. Wow. That's why I say, you know, after you're born again, there is something else you need. Even though the Spirit <coughs> of God in you when you're born again. But as you will know, in the book of Acts chapter 2 verse 1, The Spirit of God came upon me, Amen. And, and, and then that's why I was telling the pastor about my experience. So I said, also, I want to be baptized in water. Amen. So it's a process. Amen. It's very important that you have heard of Jesus Christ, the Bible tells us that we have an experience. When we were in the camera, we had a very good experience of Jesus. But the first thing we had was an experience of a lot of people. li ta' esperienza l-qawwa ta' l-Spiritu Santo fuq ħajtek u ma ta' inti t-rċievi l-mamudija ta' l-Spiritu Santo u t-tkellem b-lingu i uħra. Infatti, jekk inti ma' s-sip l-ħat jalmek kontra wahdek t-stidina di t-rċevija u kol. Di t-sip l-ħat jalmek kontra daħħab biċċi ta' l-lem 
بالمقلوب عش كل من يفتش الجسوم ودونوا ما تستمنيانس اللي سمعت بخالهم هافنا درابي من أرما يدولهم لداو ما دوم شلوم يو داو عدو ياك بدأ يدو ياك شرطوني سمعت الموهم جوال الفريق وهذا ما تفتش الجسوم ينتلاو بالسبرتو السنتو yeah. What I'm saying is this that certain people um, I've met people who have looked for Jesus searched for Jesus like you did mm. and without nobody telling them that there was something extra yes. or yeah. al- other yes. experiences yes. they by themselves experienced similar experience to what you did yes. just like the Acts of the Apostles they did not know what they were going to expect yeah. they did not know that there was something extra yes. but what I'm saying is that today many people and unfortunately even some Christian churches they teach that Je- that there is no other experience after Jesus. They don't teach, they, they teach that the baptism of the Holy Spirit is not true, that that passed away, is no longer for today. And I t- I'm saying here on TV, is that if you do not find anyone to teach you that there is nothing, you will by yourself automatically will discover that there is something else. There is something else, absolutely. And, and there is that second experience, which is the baptism or the infilling of the Holy Spirit and speaking with supernatural language. Even the disciples needed that. Because the disciples were with Jesus for three years. Even before he was crucified, he breathed on them, and they were already have the Spirit of God because they said, you know, because you're already clean. The Word of God cleaned you. But yet, after he was crucified and resurrected, in the book of Acts, chapter 2, yes. he said, Do not leave Jerusalem, yes. but stay in the upper room, all the 120 people, until Amen. the Spirit of God will come upon you Amen. and you will baptize. They had more revelation Amen. of Jesus Christ after his resurrection than they did walking with him. Amen. So that, that is, for example, the Holy Spirit. The sheep like the most revelation it is Jesus Christ, and not Jesus Christ, very much. What are the Jesus Christ? But the Holy Spirit is Saint. To me, the Abel. I fully Jesus, I'm not a man. But the sheep like, Anka, all the men, they just make sure they're not seeing the words of the Lord. Anka, what are the kinder the Lord? Oh, we never have fought with the Holy Spirit is Saint. But that kind of thing, most of the experience that they're having, that's an experience totally different. And that kind of thing, what the Holy Spirit is Saint, they're just making sure. Pero mbat għalu lo meqpaw Jerusalem sa kem tirċivu awwa u tiġu mlipsa bel awwa tal Espiritu Santu. U għahna naraw li d-dixxib li kello m-esperienza xafna ktar awija permes tal Espiritu Santu ma ġesu milli mkello ma ġesu bis. Għax Espiritu Santu jieġi jimmanifika l-ġesu. Jesus, Holy Spirit comes and he magnifies Jesus in you. He magnifies Jesus. The disciples did not know fully the mission of Jesus Christ when they were walking with him for three years. The ship that we saw for the mission of Jesus Christ, we saw him. Can I mention Jesus? Can I speak to Santo? I will give you a class in me. Because in Acts chapter one, before that experience in the upper room, flatly we had a bit more experience. They ask him this question. You can read it in Acts chapter one. He said, "Are you going to now restore the kingdom to Israel?" They didn't understand his mission. Infatti, qabel l-Spirtu Santu narawh li l-dixxib li xorta waħda anka ftit qabel ma ġimet imtella s-sema, l-dixxib li saħseq għalu l-u mulej, issa enti xatir l-staura l-ura, issa l-tna talla, u ma fem uċi l-missjonat jow, u għalu l-om, issa n-new Jerusalem, issa Jerusalem, sa kem tiġu mimlija u mlipsa bil-qawwa ta' l-Spirtu Santu, u tilċifu l-qawwa talla fuqo. And Amen. he told them, it's not for you to know the hour or the time, but just go in the upper room and the Holy Ghost will come upon you. And then after that, Peter preached one of the best sermons Amen. ever. Amen. Because the Holy Spirit is here to glorify Jesus Christ. Amen. And As nobody man, else. Nobody else. In fact, I understood about the Quran more after the baptism of the Holy Spirit than before because I'm reaching out to Muslims. Amen. Remember, I taught for about one week in Ukraine, Muslims that came out of Uzbekistan, Kurdistan, a Bible school, Bible college, for the whole week wow. that Muslims came out of Islam and they still have questions. The Holy Spirit even helped me to disciple them, to tell them the difference about stay away 
from the Quran and all the things that are controversial. But the Holy Spirit not Shows only you. opened up the Word of God with me, but opened up anything that opposes the mm, Word of God. Interesting. So wow. it's the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of Santo Giviri, Musa le bezbeda il yiftach fil Spiritu, u itikh revelation et al kelma hai et alla. Imma wa Spirit of Santo kol bade atikh dak li wa contra li yigi il kelma talla dak li muwi il kelma talla bade revelal u shmuwi il kelma talla. U alek kubat anka bade fe mektal il Quran. The Spirit of Santo li em certo affariet. And the Holy Spirit not only will help you, but help you in life is the spirit of wisdom, the spirit that's want to glorify Jesus and help you in every area of your life. The Spirit of Santo wa yemlik the Spirit of Talerf, Revelationi arfin, u ye luminalek chayte kumochok u ye inek bishtara anka fil chayya kolla. And then he also taught me how to pray. Because the first thing he did, I was waking up in the middle of the night to pray for my family to come to Christ. Because that's the dearest thing to Amen, you. Amen, amen. And we were praying every day, and we were praying for the same day. We were praying for the family to come to Christ. And we were praying for all the people who were in the world. And we were praying for the Muslims who were in the world, and they were praying for the religious Christ. So my relationship with, with my family still, I love them so much, so I just want them to know this Jesus that I found. Amen. So in the middle of the night, I'll be praying in the Holy Spirit, making intercession for my family to come to know this beautiful Lord and Amen. Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And my prayer that everyone, every Muslim listening to or every sinner, we all need Jesus. And to me, this beautiful Jesus, in fact, after that, I had an opportunity twice to be on the 700 Club with Pat Robertson. And uh, they gave me two interviews, giving them my experience and my testimony. And I addressed everyone how much we need the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And I believe what Jesus said in the Beatitude, those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, they shall be filled, and it's available to every believer. Amen. We want everything that God has for us. And we're still growing. And then after that, of course, uh, I was baptized in water, just like the Bible says. So baptism, baptism in water is not going to save you. You've got to be born again first. Amen. And then baptize, it's an evidence. So I'm sealing what God has already done for Amen. me. I got baptized by water immediately, so it's a process. As Jesus in your heart, I was baptized by the Holy Spirit, then I baptized in water, and then started growing in the things Those of God. Those are three baptisms. Baptize in Christ, yeah. baptize in the Spirit, and That's baptize right. in water. That's right, exactly. And so, so, one of the most beautiful experiences about all of these different things that happened to me, you start seeing the whole world completely different. 
يستاسي إذا تعرف دي الدنيا ديفرنت ما تعرف تسبرينت في الجسوب دان الموت الدنيا والخيا تدى تطال من ديفرنتي That doesn't mean you're not going to have trials but you can you can manage all of this because God is with you and in you ما يفسيش لي من تمشي حكولك difficulties or challenges إما برس لي صندك لا لا مياك ولا يعيش جافيك And I see the love of God that reaches out to everyone even right here in Malta all this the last two three years with Pastor Gordon and his church When you are, when I'm in church the first night, I felt like I'm around family members. Amen. Mata kont le wal darba fil knisia, the river of love, chaseit ni isni madwar il familiati ay. We are in the family of God, but we still have to reach out to the people outside the church. Ahna al kol familiat Allah fi Kristo, pero ahna al kol ana ne pravau ne horju un misul hayet tane sohrain li andom zon el jasum. Of course, now family hurts this now. I married to a Christian, of course. I gone through a divorce, then I became U.S. citizen. Now I became a Christian, so things got more different. Wow. So more separation. <laughs> well, so what, after you were divorced, you were you were uh, you became a U.S. citizen. Yeah, before that, in fact, I was U.S. citizen. Before, okay. Yeah. Sar cittadina American, um, but saru called Christian. Christian. Yeah. Uh, you, you became a Christian, obviously. Allora la distanza o il distacco bene o il familiare ti ho detto che è bravo. So really it's almost like they have nothing to do with me after that. They disowned you, right? Literally, even though I'm the oldest son. A volia io non li guardo wild, però totalmente a ta un emil wild, mil haia ta hom, mil haia ta. Usually, just like in the Old Testament, the oldest son. Gets all the inheritance if something happens to the father, as you will know. In fact, the Khafna in the culture and also in the Testament, I am not aware that the well will the well of birth to fail in the family. He who will wait all. But I have a greater inheritance, Jesus Christ. And they cut all your inheritance. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, finished. Oh, atau lo el 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 wait all to you. Nakhwo lo matawo lo shna el wait atau mil wait totalment avol ya kelo wait all lo aliya. Pero lo me juro nata ando weird half nikbar palmatayt fil sal mitnein o ana fil afasin kapitlu weyat wa mahafna postid ohrain el weird kbir fi Kristo Jesu. Amen. So after that I I start developing greater relationship with Jesus through the Word of God. Un bat komplet nes nesperienza un esvelop pal relacion eti ay ma. You know I have such hunger for the Word. And I was so blessed in Tulsa being around people like Brother Kenneth E. Hagan at Rayma, attending all, all the seminars, all Roberts. And and I saw that in your church too, Pastor Gordon, some of your spiritual sons Amen. shared with me, Amen. privately two of them, how much you helped them after they got born again. Amen. So you're a spiritual father Thank you, in Jesus. the house Amen. And, um, and you're encouraging other people to, to be fathers also. You're a spiritual father developing all this. So we need, and I see the hunger, we need each other. Amen. We need to ah, be established in a church. We need to be part of a body of believers. Interacting with a pastor, with a family of believers. So after that, I got married again, and then uh, in 21 years, uh, I had another trial in my life. What? So the fact that you're a Christian doesn't mean you're not going to have any trials. But what a lesser Christian, of your mind, uh, does mean or a just the which is the which Christian at the this time you married a Christian woman. Absolutely, and she's this a, time you were a Christian. I was a Christian, she and I want to say this because maybe some people may find that strange. But the Bible says 
البيبي تاعي لك في التاني كورنتين كابيتلو خمسة فيرس 17 وفي خفنا بوست تيت أخرى اللي متى بنيدم يدور لي كريستو ديك الخاية ستجي خاية جديدة الباساتادة الأديمادة سو كونت مسلمان بودست كاتولكو سو كونت آتيو يو كونت 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 أتيل كونت جديب كونت إدولترو أدولترو كونت 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 في الدروغي كونت خليل إنش كونت كونت وانس لي انتي دول لي جيسو كريستو قال لي يراك بلنتي ديفرنتيسا ويبدا خايتك من ام تبدا توت قدام الله عش قبل سبيريتوالمان تكون انت قبل تكون ميت وخايتك تبدا توت قدام الله من مندو عرفت الكريستو نفتت بيبيا تيدي نبرا تلمو تشار من ار جيسو كريستو فاينا يالا انت ميت بجيسو كريستو فاينا يالا انت اسا برسونا حيا برسونا جديدة كرياتورا جديدة ولك مبات اسا وانس اسا بالكريستو باسهم فدين الخايا جديدة اللي يوصاف في كريستو اسا الزواج مارة تالمولي السيد دنات بيان ايكول يوك والبيبيا تيدينا في التيني you need other believers because you can pray together أمين عندك بزون الأخرين الأخوة بشتيت لوفلم كي you can help each other تينو للشيشي and that is a great union especially between a husband and wife وديني إلا أدا اللي قال لا يريد تبقى شركة بي مرة وراجة اللي يكونوا تنين تالا يريدوا تنون تنين كريستياني So that really was helping me a lot, the fact that my wife right now, I'm a Christian, she's a Christian. So we start serving in the church, and, and then I fulfilled the position of being associate pastor in the Amen. church. Amen. In fact, the mother and the mother and the mother were two of them in the community, in the church, and they were all assistant, pastor assistant. And I was blessed to have uh, Sister Jeannie Wilkerson which you probably very well yes, yes, she yes. was my spiritual mother yeah. and she helped me grow my spiritual wife in Mulay Jeannie Wilkerson Mara Gbira Tal Mulay li ene to hafna yikbir fil Mulay and I like to help I like to instruct everyone watching when the shayna yitil da kurat yara wada program it's good to be associated with somebody more spiritually mature uwa tayyab li tkum associat ma shagat li uwa iktar matur spirituali minnek because they'll help you <coughs> grow in faith. تكبر وتطلع تاني الفوق في الفيدي. That's why it's good to associate with people <coughs> that already walked with God for many years and they will help you to grow. Not only you growing in the word, but they will help you grow like you do pastor with other people. Amen. O ek tistaw yeynuk bish tikber te matura fil mulay bhal maturina le skittura. Amen. Hallelujah. Brother, I would like you to just say a few phrases and look at your ca- the camera and talk in Arabic. Okay. I want you to just share the quick gospel message in one minute, two minutes, and speak to people who are watching this program and they don't understand Maltese maybe, they only understand Arabic. Tell them. Ya akhi, ya aini, al-Muslimin, ahna al-Yasu' al-Masih huwa jafi qalbi, huwa jiddan habibi, huwa habibi, hibdan jiddan kathir. Ya akhti, ya akhi, إن شاء الله روح إلى المسيح تروح إلى يسوع المسيح إن شاء الله هو يكون في قلبك هو جدا صيب أنا أحبهم جدا كثير يا يا أختي يا أخاني إحنا حب العربيين حب المسلمين هم جدا كويس ترجع إلى يسوع المسيح هو يحبك جدا كثير أنا أحبكم جدا كثير أنا أصلي إلى إله صلي إلى يسوع المسيح صلي روح القدس هو يمكن تجو في ربي في حربي في قلبي هو جدا كثير ما حبكم جدا كثير هللويا thank you Jesus the Maltese and the Maltese there are some words that yeah, are similar when you were talking yeah when you talking in uh, even the songs last night in church I picked up some few words amen amen yeah. there, obviously there are some similarities praise yes. God Just Alleluia. like the Aramaic too. Amen, yes. Remember the Amen. compassion of the Christ? Whoa, whoa. The passion? Yes, powerful. The lot of words I could hear. Yes, yes, the same Maltese, thing. Maltese, I yeah. hear Aramaic. Yeah. It's Arabic. Yeah. Yes, so Amen. So thank God for this culture. Amen. You know, um, Al-Khabib Ta'ana, Allah Wa Ta'ana, the whole thing is to be serious for Jesus Christ. We are going to encourage you to be able to do the copy of the book of the word of Jesus Christ. We are going to be able to do the copy of the word of Jesus Christ. بدلك خايتك اللي جسوه ده خاي جسوه خاي مفتي ميت 
علينا إرشاش تما تلات يوم هو هاي هو لبن تلا الخاي لما تلينا فوق الصليب وقال داوك اللي انتم فارسي عندكم خبيب عرب مدوار يو مسلماني يش او سوريا فول جيسو كريستوس شام منو دا جيسو خفنا خفنا ناس في الفلران الراء في الليبيا في التونسية في السعودية الريبية مدوار الدنيا كلها خفنا عرب ما يفقوش الجيسو فيرامنت ما سمعوش بيخ احنا فرصة نحن نهدوها فور غرانتت لخفنا سمعو بيخ ما يكنت تشتقت الكوستا خوب دا دان الفوليات الستوريا تا جيسو فاجلي تا كام جيسو يخوب البنيدم وشام الجيسو اليوم تسا تا كوستا دا الفوليات باللي تجو سودان يودان تجو كل الكومونيتا ريفر اوف لاف وانتو كوم كوبيا من دو الفوليتي يكنت تشتقت في الجيسو كوستو عزيز خبيب وتشتقت تايت الجيسو يجي في حايتك ايد التالبة ورايا من قلبك السستس جسو نمم بقلبي اللي انت اللي بنت الله الحاي ونطول بوك السالفاني اخسلني بالدم قد استياك وكون السيت والسالفاتور تيهي نلوم القدام ولا جسو نشئ نسبرين ساك اكتر بموت انتمو ورلاتسيوني برسونالي برمستا لسبرتو السانتو جراتسي تالي سالفايتني متالية ورششتايت اللي برمستا الموت الامن تيهك ينا جايت مفدي ومخصول بالدم تيهك من دنوبي كولا ين مخفور من دنوبي في سم جزو كرستو امن عزيز حبيب Grazie di tutti per il programma, non coraggio che vi sento come promesso che il programma ti ha detto che mi ha detto che il giorno è il giorno del lodo, con il giorno del giorno, 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 con il giorno del giorno. Benedem, le chiedi musulmani, con le esperienze, le mahabba di Gesù Cristo. Gesù è il giorno del giorno, però abbiamo l'esperienza della mahabba. Inti ti tiedlo, gli dici fai-tek. E si rtafu, bello inti da al karmatalla, e ti scopri che ammè Gesù alik. Alleluia. Basim, I want to thank you for being with us. Thank you for blessing us Amen. and blessing Malta. Yeah. And uh, thank God that many are going to be blessed to this program. May Amen. God keep his hand mightily upon you and your wife. Amen. And Jesus I want to thank you. I want to thank uh, this television network. I want to thank Pastor Gordon, his lovely wife, and lovely family of God, the church. It's truly a oasis of love. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Because you can see love. Amen. You can't act love. Amen. You experience love. And I saw it in your church, and I thank, thank God Jesus. for your leadership. Amen. And, and we pray in Jesus' name that God will bless the nation of Malta, bless Amen. all the people. You have such a tremendous opportunity in this nation. Amen. Because you have so many cultures. Amen. I saw it. In less than 24 hours, you have people coming from all over North America, coming from Europe. You have multi-cultures coming in here. Amen. So you have an awesome opportunity to spread the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And there is nobody. Nobody is beyond reach. Amen. Everyone can be reached. Amen. Everyone can be reached. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Well, thank you, my dear brother. Narao kom el sezahwa u tal espetatura da habayte. Grazie dalle konto ma naftakar. Jesu yuhobbok. Jesu. Verament, dal waqt reġa ġej, ufta kar jak tiddiskopri l-verita kolla, aqbat il-bibja u aqra kuljum, ftit kuljum. Narawko.